What's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video I will explain the problem sum of all divisors from 1 to n well this is an interesting problem based on some interesting mathematical concept so guys make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video starting with the problem statement so it says that you are given a positive integer n the task is to find the value of this particular function so this is a summation function guys which basically says that from i equals to 1 to n our task is to calculate the sum of f of i right so for i equals to 1 this f of i is going to be f of 1 then plus f of 2 for i equals to 2 then f of 3 and so on right up to uh, somewhere in the middle i am going to have f of i and then at last i will have f of n so this is what we need to calculate this is the sum that we need to calculate now the question is what exactly is this f of i right or f of 1 f of 2 so see f of i is basically uh, for a number i is defined as the sum of all the divisors of i so let's say if i have f of 4 then it is basically going to be equal to sum of all the divisor of 4 so what are the divisors of 4 i have 1 then i have 2 then i have 4 so i just need to add them all and this is going to give me 7 right so f of 4 is basically going to be equal to 7 similarly we can calculate f of 3 2 5 7 anything right now one example is given here c for this particular example, we are going to understand how we can solve this example, guys. So, see, uh, for n equals to 4, this is what we need to calculate, right? We need to calculate f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4, right? This is what we need to calculate. We already know the value of f of 4, so I'll simply write 7 here plus what is f of 3? So, guys, for f of 3, we can simply add all the divisors of 3. So, 1 is the divisor, then 3 is the another divisor, then it is going to give me 4, right? So, I'll simply write 4 here. After this, f of 2, we can calculate f of 2 is basically the sum of all the divisors of 2. So, I have 1 as the divisor and 2 as the divisor. So, this is going to give me uh, 3. So, I'll write 3 here. After this, for f of 1, see guys, there is only one divisor of 1, which is 1 itself. So, the sum is going to be 1. Now, 1 plus 3, 4. Then I have 8. Then I have 8 plus 7, 15. Right? So, 15 is going to be the output for n equals to 4. So, now you can see the output here as well. So, this is about the problem statement, guys. Now, let's talk about the solution. Okay. So, now guys, I will take the same example in order to explain you the intuition behind the approach. So, see, the example is n equals to 4 right for n equals to 4 we need to add up f of 1 then f of 2 then f of 3 and then finally f of 4 right and i have to return the value of this sum so what we can do is see f of 1 is basically equal to 1 itself then f of 2 is basically 1 plus 2 right and then f of 3 is equal to 1 plus 3 guys see f of i or when i say f of 2 f of 1 anything it basically the sum of all the divisor of the number which is wrapped by parenthesis right so f of 2 is the sum of divisor of 2 so all the divisor of 2 are 1 and 2 isn't it all the divisor of 3 are 1 and 3 and now all the divisor of 4 are 1 then 2 and then 4 right now guys i want you to notice something here but first of all let me write the sum value as well so 1 for this then for this i have 3 then i have 4 and then i have uh, 7 right so 1 plus 4 uh, like 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 is nothing but equal to 15 itself but i want you to notice something uh at this particular point guys see how many times i am adding 1 then how many times I am adding 2, then how many times I am adding 3 and how many times I am adding 4. So, I am basically adding 1 4 times, right? So, this is nothing but uh, 4 into 1. After this, I am adding 2 2 times, right? So, this is nothing but 2 into 2. Then I am adding 3 1 time. This is uh, 1 into 3. Then I am doing uh, 4 1 time. So, this is nothing but 1 into 4, right? So, this is what we are doing, guys. So, what I can do is see. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I can basically run a loop. I can run a loop and I can find out how many times I have to add that particular number, right? So, once I have got this, then I can simply calculate the answer. So, I'll simply do 4. Uh, I equals to 0. Uh, okay, I'll start from 1. I equals to 1, 2, n. And now, I will simply add uh, like i sum plus equal to i into some frequency right but for now i don't know what this frequency is for every i i have frequency of i isn't it and at last uh, once i have done this at last i can simply return answer 
this is what i can do guys and now uh, initially the sum is going to be equal to zero but the question is how many times like how to calculate this frequency so see one thing here guys when i do 4 divided by 1 so what this basically means is how many times i have uh, a number which okay uh, let me write the number from 1 to 4 first 1 2 3 4 right so see when i do 4 by 1 so guys i am basically calculating how many times from 1 to 4 the number is exactly divided by 1 right so see this number is totally divided by 1 so i'll have 1 here then this number is also divided by 1 so this means that i have 1 as a divisor for every number from 1 to 4 right so how many times we have the number as a divisor this is what we calculate by dividing so when i do 4 by 2 then this is going to give me 2 right so this basically means that i have two numbers somewhere in the middle from 1 to 4 which are completely divided by 2 isn't it guys you can see that there are two numbers and similarly for 3 when i do 4 by 3 so i'll have 1 right i'm talking about integer division so i will have 1 here this basically means that from 1 to 4 I have only one number which is completely divided by 3 so what I can do is instead of writing this f of i I can simply write n divided by i right and n divided by i is basically going to give me how many times like how many numbers are there from 1 to n which are completely divided by the number i and once i have done this then i have got the frequency for that particular number right so guys this is how we can calculate the answer all we need to do is we need to just calculate the sum by uh, calculating the frequency and then multiplying it with the number itself why we are multiplying here see let's say i have two times two i have two times two so this basically means that i have to add two two times so this is two plus two right so that's why i am multiplying this guys so now i hope the idea is clear to you the complexity the time complexity of this approach is o of n this is about the time complexity let me write smaller n here right this is time complexity and space complexity is o of one now i hope everything is clear to you so let me show you the code quickly so this is the code in c plus plus guys you can see that the code is quite simple right but i have done uh okay uh, so this is the code in c plus plus and now you can see that this is the code in java and this is the code in python so now i hope guys everything related to this particular problem is clear to you along with the intuition so this is all about this video if you guys like the explanation you can hit the like button and subscribe the channel if you are new here thank you